Thanks a lot. Hey, and Money Tuesday, if you have or were given $1,000, how can you invest it wisely in 2012? Financial planner Stuart Welch offers ways to use it. He joins us here this morning. As always, it's good to see you. Good morning, Rick, and roll tide. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks so much. I think we're going to hear that a few times today. Just, just a few times for sure if we haven't already. Uh, okay, it, this could have been a bonus. This could have been a, a present during the holidays. This may be just savings that you have out there. Taxes coming up. It might be that tax return. Any number of ways. If you get that money and folks will say, well, I'm just going to pay my bills. That's one That's one important thing. But if you can and you're in a position, you say there are a variety of ways that you can smartly invest this, right? That's right, Rick. So what I did was I went to our staff, all of, all of our associates at the Welch Group and fee-only planning professionals and said, if you had an extra thousand dollars, what would you do with it? And they gave me a laundry list of ideas, which I thought was a pretty good list. Okay, so let's talk first off. You say <clears throat> invest in a 529 college savings plan. So that's like uh, you put money in there for a child or a grandchild, the money grows tax deferred, right. and it's tax free if it's used for qualified education. Probably the most powerful thing you can do for a child who's uh, going, to go to, going to go to college. Okay, I like this one. This came from one of, uh, one of the uh, members of your staff. said, update your wardrobe. Yeah, it was kind of a, uh, I, I like that one. It was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always thinking financial, but they're thinking outside the box. They're saying update your dress. Mm -hmm. For the job you want to have, not the job that you currently have. Right. So they said take a look at it and do something fresh with it. Uh, another one that you had is get in shape. Uh, any number of ways you can do it to use that money, right? And everybody's thinking about getting in shape, you mm -hmm. know, at this point in time. But I think well, the point we made is, is that just a mild amount of obesity or overweight can, mm -hmm. can lead to health problems, and health problems lead to financial problems. So it's, uh, it's a good thing. Let's talk about this one. I like this one. Capture a tax credit. Uh, uh, Kimberly, who comes on mm -hmm. from time to time, she was the one who threw this one out. Uh, to us, what do you mean by that? What are we talking about? Well, this is I'm actually going to do a whole column on this and a, okay. a, a whole show on this called the Savers Tax Credit. And uh, essentially, if you're in a certain income area, uh, a low enough income, when you make a contribution to a retirement account like an IRA or a Roth IRA, you actually get a tax credit. Mm -hmm. And so why don't we just tease that one and say we're going to come up with okay. a, a, a full report on that in the next couple of weeks. Okay, and da I, mentioned, I mentioned bills, pay down the credit card. Man, that can carry a lot of, you know, get, that can be a, mean a lot to you on down the road, right? And most people on credit cards are paying a pretty high interest rate, anywhere mm -hmm. from, uh, you know, 10 or 11 percent to as much as 21 percent. And paying on a credit card is the same thing as earning that rate of return, so that's a great strategy. Okay, you say a lot of ideas, Just and you kind of to, to wrap this up, is, and we've got more on myfoxale.com. You can go to the Good Day Alabama site, you'll find the, the list there. But you say, just to kind of wrap this up, say, just think out of the box sometimes. Well, just if you have some extra money, make a conscious decision about what you're going to do uh, with that money to help your situation, and uh, otherwise that money two or three months from now will just disappear. All right, it's good to see you as always. Thanks, Thanks. so, Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hey, more to come on Good Day.